Okay, I gotta show you something. Does this look good? Empty palms, front, back, hiya! Probably the most awkward build production in all of Magic. It's weird, hard to figure out, looks kinda cool, but awkward. Got that Superman curl today I need to get rid of, but in today's video, I'm so excited because this is how I was able to quit my job with something called dividends to pursue what I've always wanted to do, which is to make YouTube videos talking about personal finance and teaching people how to invest, where occasionally I'll throw in a random magic trick so that I don't fall asleep while I'm filming my videos. But in the last five years, I've had two major income streams that allowed me to quit my job in the first place. That was royalties and dividends and without those two I would not be here today and I'd still be stuck working that job that I didn't want to so if this sounds anything like you then I think this video is gonna be very helpful passive income is of course the dream right da for my two Russian subscribers but if you're not making money while you sleep you might be working forever or at least until Social Security whose future is not guaranteed past the year 2034 now I don't want to scare you but if you're retiring in the next 15 years you'll be all right. Anything past that point though, and you are not guaranteed social security, which is why it's so much more important right now, today, to start building your passive income so that you're not relying on government resources to fund and supplement your income in retirement because those programs might be going away in the future. And this is exactly why I'm making this video, to show you my progress in the last five years of how I've invested my money in an effort to maybe inspire one person out there watching because I think anyone and everyone can recreate what I'm doing in the next five years. So let me show you exactly where I'm at today. I'll open up the Robinhood app and see where we're at. 200, yes, whoo! 200 grand, guys. That is the first time it has reached $200,000 on my channel. Now, I kind of saw this coming, but in the last few weeks, it's been inching closer and closer and up and down and up and down. But that just goes to show you the power of compound interest and letting time do the work for you. To celebrate, I'm gonna get some pizza and get naked. Just kidding. I'm not about to spend money on pizza. Hey, my name is Andre Jick, hope you're doing great, and I'm relatively new to YouTube, but I've been investing for a while now, and this stock portfolio that's a humble brag of mine is generating about $7,000 every single year. In addition to having grown from $130,000 of an initial investment to $200,000 that it is today, and it's all thanks to something called DG. I. DGI, Dolce & Gabbana, hello. No, it's called dividend growth investing. And what it means is buying stocks of companies that are so profitable, they just pay their shareholders for simply owning the stock without actually selling it. So if you've ever heard the term, invest in blue chip stocks, this is them. These can be some of the most profitable and stable companies that you can ever invest in. And they make so much money for their shareholders, they're just like, there you go, there you go. There you go. One of my favorite movies of all time. One of the most amazing things about dividend investing that people don't talk about is that if you're making $39,375 or less for the entire year, you'll be paying 0% in taxes on all your qualified dividends. Another trick, if you're filing your taxes under married status instead of single, you can get 0% tax rate on up to $78,750 of qualified dividends. Anything above that is gonna be taxed at 15% which is still really advantageous. Now think about it. What other asset class can you name right now that you can make up to $80,000 of tax-free money? That's insane, right? But why is that? Why are dividends so advantageous? Who makes laws? Politicians do, right? Who pays dividends? Corporations do. Who owns the politicians? That's why dividends are just so powerful. But please remember, this is not a get rich quick scheme. You will not be able to recreate this overnight. But the best part is that if you stick with it, it really does work. You don't have to be a YouTuber or go through some sleazy marketing scheme or buy any of my courses. Everything here is free. All you have to do is continue working the same job that you're working, live well below your means, save your income, invest it, and subscribe to my channel.
So I started by depositing $15,000 into Robinhood on December 22nd, 2014, exactly five years and one day from today, the time of posting this video. It was my first year of DGI. I was terrified, had no idea what I was doing, kind of learning as I went along because I heard the stock market was this thing where people just lose their money, but the fear was really overblown. So I started by investing into the energy sector with stocks like ExxonMobil, ConocoPhillips, and that was just bad timing because unbeknownst to me at the time, the energy sector was about to get crushed and oil prices were plummeting. But one thing I was doing right that I want you to take away from is that I was investing no matter what was going on consistently and that's what you should do. If the stock market's high or low or going sideways or if other YouTubers are screaming about how this is the end and there's an upcoming crash, I promise no one has any idea when it's gonna happen. Just when you think the stock market is at its all time high and that you should wait to start investing, it goes even higher and you miss out on those key gains that make all the difference in the world. I swear, this is what happened in 2014 and 2015. Everybody was screaming, the market's too high, it's gonna go lower, and it just kept on going. And for all we know, it's gonna continue to do so for the next 10 years. Promise, nobody knows. So that's lesson number one. And one of my best investments that I made at that time, by the way, the companies were Disney, Apple, Johnson & Johnson, Coca-Cola, and a few others, but I just wish I bought more. And it was at this point in time, I really wanted to quit my job because I heavily started investing consistently $5,000 every month in March and then in February, so on and so forth. You get the idea. Okay, I can't afford that. I don't make YouTuber money, dude. I know, I know, I hear you, but this was not money that was coming from YouTube. I wasn't doing YouTube at that time. I was, however, able to save $100,000 in my bank account around this time, at around age 25. And I'm not saying this to brag about it because many 20-year-olds have done far better than me in things like real estate by leveraging their money. I just don't like debt, so I prefer doing this, but $100,000 is something that's very doable for you in the next four or five years, so that's gonna be your goal in 2020. But Andre, how do we do that? First, live with a roommate. I'm paying $450 for my rent for every month. It saves so much money. Learn how to cook at home. Don't go out to eat at restaurants every single week. Waste of money. Don't go clubbing. Don't drink. Don't smoke. And above all, don't shop at Whole Foods and buy organic because I shop at Walmart, Smith's, and when I'm feeling really reckless and careless with my life, I'll go to the 99 cent store because nothing is beneath me when saving money. And also I realize some of you watching, all you heard was, I live in a cardboard box, I eat ramen noodles, I've got no friends, and I like to watch paint dry for entertainment. Literally every single comment on YouTube. Live a little, bro. Life is short. But nothing can be further from the truth, okay? Huh, still wet. The perception is that you're somehow selling yourself short, right? But ask yourself this simple question, please. Who's making the bigger sacrifice? The person who doesn't have fancy things, but can spend their time whenever, with whomever, wherever they want, or the person who has the AirPods Pro, but has to work for the rest of their life? The answer seems pretty obvious to me, but most people seem to pick option number two, which is kind of crazy to me. So that's lesson number one. It's not about how much money you can make, it's about how much money you can save. If you're making a million dollars a year and you're spending 995,000 of it, you're never going to retire. So the next time you see somebody out and about wearing a fancy suit and a fancy watch, chances are they're not that wealthy. The next time you see a guy wearing a hoodie and some flip-flops, much higher chance of wealth. Sorry ladies, I don't know what the female equivalent of that is, but for the two to three girls watching my channel, please enlighten me. So tracking my progress all the way down to December 2014, I went from $29,658 all the way up to $95,086 at the end of December 2015. Now this was a combination of both saving my money and investing it into the stock market, growing alongside. All in all, in 2015, I made $2,657 in dividend income for the whole year. But each of these companies pays at different rates, different frequencies throughout the year, and that's about to be very important in just a minute. Now you can see my dividends in January and February February are typically lower. I was just starting, but then there were huge spikes in March, then June, 
477, September 454, and December 435. Now these are typically the largest months because they represent the end of each quarter of the year. Now, you might be wondering, should I invest in different companies that pay at different times so I get paid every month evenly? Makes sense. The answer is no, you don't have to structure it like that. You shouldn't be paying attention to that as much. The thing you should be paying attention to is the value that you're getting. If the price is good, if the dividend payout ratio is modest, if the company is growing and has a good track record of paying its shareholders, because remember, a dividend is not guaranteed, but the best of companies will borrow money and fire most of their workforce before considering cutting their dividend. Keep in mind, if you're investing in dividend stocks, you need to own that stock before what's called the X dividend date. If you own that stock after the X dividend date, you will not be paid the dividend for that pay period. And you can check when the X date is either on dividend.com or on my spreadsheet, both great resources. And in 2016, I started contributing $2,000 consistently every single month. Some months were as low as 1,500, other months were as high as 5,000, some months nothing at all. But on average, it was two to 2.2K every single month. And like clockwork, the checks just continued coming in. And like clockwork, the checks just continued to get a little bit bigger and then a little bit bigger, and then, you guessed it, a little bit bigger. You can tell I'm the kind of guy who needs pictures when he reads books, and I'm not even kidding when I say that because this is my favorite book of all time, and all it has is just pictures. I think I have a learning deficiency where I need to visually see somebody do something before I fully understand how it's done. Basically what I'm saying is, you don't have to be particularly smart to understand investing. All in all, 2016 made me a very modest $3,983, and it was so cool to see myself getting paid for literally doing nothing and just sleeping. It was the proof of concept that I needed to see just how powerful dividend investing really was. But the next year after that, 2017, is when it all changed. In 2017, I quit my job in March. I even put on the spreadsheet, quit my job. I was hungry for more. Literally, because at this point I was starving to death and I didn't have any income coming in, I was almost 30 years old, no money, and I was terrified, but having that dividend income was what gave me some of that courage to leave in the first place. So in 2017, the grand total came out to be $5,453 of dividend income. But now I wanna show you the true test of how powerful dividend investing is. This is the juicy part, comparing 2018 income to 2019, the only two years where I used reinvested dividends and dividend raises alone. This is pretty much what happens if you were to leave your investments on autopilot. Look how fast this grows. In 2018, I made $5,911, not bad. In 2019, I made $7,005. In December alone, I broke four figures my first month getting paid $1,091. That represents a growth of 18.5% year over year. Most jobs pay 1% to 2% per year. This was 18.5% in one year. That's crazy and shows the power of compound interest and reinvested dividends over time. Things are really starting to look interesting now. But besides that, what makes dividends stocks so special, Andre? Well, let me quote the legendary investor, John Bogle, the guy who created Vanguard and the idea of index funds. This is what he said, and I quote, over the past 81 years, reinvested dividend income accounted for approximately 95% of the compound long-term return earned by the companies in the S&P 500. In other words, the reinvestment of dividends accounted for almost all of stocks long-term total return. Wow, when you're looking at the top 500 companies in the US over the last almost century, almost the entirety of its growth can be given credit to reinvested dividends. I hear the objections though. Andre, you have like $200,000 invested and it's only making you $7,000 per year? That's gonna take like 30 years to make back your money. But that's not how it works. Dividend growth investing is kind of like playing an RPG game. It starts off slow, but then you start to build your character faster and faster until it takes on a life of its own. And the advantages of dividend growth investing is that they are heavily tax advantaged 
and they are almost 100% passive, so they continue to grow even though you don't have to lift a single finger to have your money continually grow and outpace inflation. It's unfortunate that dividends are so misunderstood by people for thinking it's too conservative or that it's only income for old people. That's not true. My dividend income combined with my low expense lifestyle allowed me to quit my job, take a risk and do YouTube and it's paid off. I want you to do the same thing in five short years. Now, I'm not saying that dividend investing is the best way to invest your money. It's just what I love and it's what works for me. And also I think it's the best and it's what you should do too. But if you wanna get started today, you can get some free stocks by downloading the Robinhood app, get one free stock, download the Webull app, fund your account, get two free stocks, then sell the three free stocks you got and buy yourself a nice dividend paying stock. December 21st was the longest night of the year. Now the days are gonna get brighter and longer and that makes me happy, but I won't see you until after the holidays. So I just wanted to take this time to say thank you so much for getting me this far with YouTube. I can't believe how far we've come. Thank you for putting up with all my cheesy jokes and all of my videos. We are now almost 300,000 subscribers strong in my first year and I'm just blown away. If you comment, you're welcome in the comment section. I will respond and say thank you because seriously I cannot thank you enough <laughs> anyway I will see you guys after the holidays stay safe out there love you guys and I'll see you very soon bye bye no it's, it's fine it's fine <laughs>